Hey, welcome back to Hostify. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at the Unify Mobile Router, or the UMR for short. This is a ubiquity mobile hotspot device with integrated GPS, support for LTE 4G Category 4, as well as having two Ethernet ports, one with PoE in. It retails for $199 in the US, and in the UK and Europe, just over €200 Euros or £200. Pounds. There is some differences, however, in the models between the US and the EU. So in the US, you can use a pre-installed AT&T Nano SIM. Ubiquiti also allow you to use your own AT&T Nano SIM. This does mean that it is locked to AT&T in the US. However, here in Europe and the UK, we can use the mobile router with any Nano SIM we want. However, you are limited to speeds that are set by the Cat4 modem inside the router. This means speeds of around 150 megabits down and 50 megabits up, and the Mobility Cloud subscription is optional. That Mobility Cloud subscription is available via mobility.ui.com. This allows things like remote management and software updates. Here we have the Unify mobile router. As I mentioned, this is about $199 in the US. Let's see what comes in the box. at the box and we've got the device right there little screen on the front for looking at the stats so on the back there we've got the mounting options and on the front we've got that little tiny screen on the top we've got two antenna ports and the nano sim slot the bottom we've got two ethernet ports one for PoE in one for LAN and there's also some power options as well so we can actually power the UMR up by USB-C, or we can use PoE uh, Plus, or actually just normal PoE, and then we can use the 12 volt connector as well. So that's the antenna that goes on the top. And we also get a DIN rail attachment included as well. So let's power up the UMR and see what happens. So we use USB-C for this. Little tiny screen, as we see on the UDMSC, UXG Pro, other devices. I'm just going to pop a SIM card in the device. So I've got a three SIM card. So it's just three per carrier in the UK. Pretty good speeds. We do 5G as well, but this is only a 4G device. So I'll pop the SIM card in. I'll put the antenna back on. On the front there, we've got the QR code. It says, please go to mobility.ui.com and we've got a code as well. So in order to get the Unify mobile router online, we need to go to mobility.ui.com. I've gone to that website just now. And what we need to do now is enter the code we find on the screen. So it's now saying we need to customize the SSID and name for our device. So I'm going to keep the Wi-Fi name as the same, and the password is going to be something custom. So it's currently saying the UMR is offline. I've got a unlocked 3 SIM in the device, and we'll see what we need to do. You can see here we've got a free trial that lasts until the 16th of September. If we click on this here, we can see here we've got a 30 days free trial for remote management, global configuration, system log, and email notifications. And then once you're finished, you can have five euros a month and that will give you Mobility Cloud only. UMR093 is adopted now with a free trial and it's online. And we can see it's not picked up the carrier just yet. There's a billing date, Wi-Fi name, MAC address. The device is just updated. It's picked up the carrier. It's picked up my location here because it's got GPS built in. It's picked up what type of uh, network it's currently on and there's an update button here. We're going to update from 1.4.3 to 1.5.4. And we'll come back once that's done. Now the UMR is up to date, we can see what features it's got. We've got the device name here, the status, the subscription status, the carrier, my one's three, the signal it's got, how many clients are connected, the data usage, the up and down usage, as well as location. If we click on the device, we get an overview here. We can see how much data has been used, how many clients are connected. There's also some information about the period pass through, uptime, memory usage, and more. If we go to insights, we can see the carrier. So in this case, it's three a map of where the location is, internet health over that time, how stable the connection has been, as well as the status of the ethernet port. We can see the Wi-Fi experience, how much data has been used in a specific time frame, and the CPU and RAM levels. Under settings, we've got the device name. We can also enable global UMR settings. Change the billing date. This is irrelevant if you've got a your own SIM card. And we can enable or disable the Wi-Fi function. If we scroll down, we can set the Ethernet WAN mode. We can actually just use the UMR as a normal router if you didn't want to use 4G or 3G. We can customize the network and DHP scope as well as enable PoE pass-through. What you could do is have PoE powering the UMR and you could have PoE pass-through out to a Unify AP, for example. We can also change the release channel from early access or EA to official. We've also got the usual ubiquity settings such as manual device update, locate so the device should flash, as well as restart, provision and remove. In mobility.ui.com, we've also got a few settings. We've got a map and gives you the location of where the device is. 
We've got how many clients are connected to the AP, as well as a system log. So it tells you when it's got adopted, it being reconnected or disconnected, updates, when updates were done, subscriptions, and push notification settings. If we go to the settings, we can see usage, network, internet. These are mainly for the global UMR settings. You can use the Unify mobile app to gain access to the UMR. Simply connect to the Wi-Fi network of the UMR and open the Unify app. You can view most of the settings you can find at mobility.ui.com, as well as the data usage, wireless clients connected, and information on the ethernet ports. There is access to some settings, however, most of them are available at the cloud portal. Very quick speed test. This hasn't got the best signal, so we're not getting the best speeds. Just looking at the front display, this is a touchscreen, just like the UXG Pro and the UDMSE. We can view things like the brightness control, also how much throughput there is, the status of the signal from the LTE provider, data usage, as well as how many wireless and wired clients there are, uptime information, the software version, and then if we go to the main screen, we can see the overview of where the location is and some more information on the signal. On the bottom here, we've got a ethernet port for the PoE in, PoE out, and an ATX connector, which can be used for powering the device. If we take the top antenna cover off, we can see We've got the two antenna ports on the top there and the slot for the nano sim. And if you pop the antenna back on, you can also arrange the ears on the antenna as well. Okay, that's been a look at the new Unify mobile router or the UMR. So what do we actually think about this device? Well, for a device that's, that supports 4G LTE that's been released in 2023, it is a shame that it doesn't support 5 gigahertz networking. It only supports 3.4. It's also only a category four modem, which means a maximum speed of 150 megabits down and 50 megabits up. We're already on cat six for certain 4G devices. The price also around $200, 200 pounds, is a little bit high for a device with such low specs. However, if you're looking for fleet management devices, the Unify mobile router can certainly fit that need. And I think Ubiquiti are marketing it towards that need. The versatility of the power options, you've got USB-C, H2.3 AF, and also the nine volt ATX connector. So there are some good power options there. So what do you think about the new Unify mobile router? Let us know in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at Hostify.com. If you need some help with the project, hire one of our experts at Hostify.com forward slash pro and get started with your project today. If you have any questions about Unify, USP or TP-Link Armada, let our support team know at support at Hostify.com and they'd be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.